What's happening, guys? So we got less than a month for Suicide Squad hits theaters, and I just want to make sure you guys know a few things about the film, plus a few new details that just got released as well. So let's check it out. All right, so up to this point, they've been doing a real good job of keeping everything confidential for this film uh, and minimizing the details. And as far as what we know already, that this is taking place in the post Batman v Superman uh, world. So Superman's gone, all these villains are going crazy, and plus there's this new threat. Um, possibly what Lex was talking about the, the bell's been rung and what's coming. And this is uh, kind of the new thing that has to be stopped. So Amanda Waller forms his team, Task Force X, or better known to us as the Suicide Squad and that's pretty much the whole premise like in a nutshell and so as for the five things that you need to know for this film number five will be the Joker's uh, plot in this film in this uh, this kind of like a dual plot going on because he's seizing an opportunity in the middle of all this chaos to kind of turn the tables in his favor literally like a wild card in the middle of a game and even though we're not given the entire plot uh, we are told that part of it is to get Harley back. So now number four. So you guys know those the bombs that are kind of in the back of the necks of everybody on the squad, which is pretty much the reason why they got to do everything Amanda says. So in Entertainment Magazine, they reported that those bombs were manufactured by Wayne Tech. Now how crazy is that? And that kind of ties into my number three of my things you need to know list, because um, I want to show you here the like the economic standing of uh, LexCorp in comparison to Wayne Enterprises. Now, financially, in well, as far as like revenue, these two companies are polar opposites, and part of that reason is because the head of uh, of Wayne Enterprises, you know, Bruce Wayne, has other things occupying him. You know, he's he's full time Batman part-time Bruce Wayne um, and also his he doesn't sign government contracts for a lot of his weaponing and technology for obvious reasons so when I read news from like from you know from entertainment magazine saying that you know he's he made the bombs that are in the neck of these criminals like it's just like that's not Batman maybe Alfred but not Bruce so but anyway on to number two so in this film we're going to be getting some uh a Harley Quinn's origin story kind of told in a flashback kind of way instead of like a linear fashion they're gonna have uh, scenes in the movie that are identical to moments in the comic as well too and this may not mean much to some people but for like my hardcore comic fans I'm, it's, it's like the the movie is the page is just coming to life and I love that and there's going to be quite a few particular scenes in this film that have never been brought to the screen. Like as far as live action acting. And this scene where uh, Harley is doing her therapy session with the Joker is, is one of the ones I look forward to the most. Seeing for the first time. And so finally guys, that brings us down to number one. And for this film, you know it's got to be Batman. So originally it wasn't planned for Batman to be in the film, but David Ayer requested to have this done. So the thing is with uh, having Batman in the films, well, David Ayer mentioned that usually when you have Batman in the film, he's the hero and clearly like the Joker is the villain or whichever you know, Two-Face is the villain or whoever else. But in this film, you know, through the perspective of the villains, Batman is on the other side of that coin. So he's he's more of that haunting kind of element in the story which i think is pretty crazy because that's that's the way that he's you know supposed to be because he's batman he's supposed to strike fear into the villain's eyes and like literally scare the shit out of him and that's something i can't wait to see because i feel like batman has had those moments and feels before but never that tone through an entire film so that's gonna wrap it up for this video let me know what you're most excited about seeing in this film in the comments below like subscribe and share with a friend Make sure they're ready to see this film next month. Also, don't forget to check out my trailer reaction video where I talk about the numbers I believe are going to be projected for this film when it opens August 5th. Alright, once again guys, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Later.